Pat, there's a fundraiser concert coming up tomorrow night featuring a Madison music icon. It's to get kids interested in music. Clyde Stubblefield played with James Brown for six years tomorrow night. He's putting on a show with some of his friends. Donations all benefit the Clyde Stubblefield Scholarship Fund here this morning. Is Clyde, thank you for being with us, along thank with his nephew Marcus us. there on the end, and Joey B. Banks from the fund. Thanks to all of you. I'm, I'm waking up a musician having musicians come in early in the morning. Oh, we will. Um, Mr. Stubblefield, tell me right off the bat, what do you, when, I mean, you didn't take formal music training when you were a kid. How important is it to get kids interested in music, around that music, and, and to play music? Well, it's interesting by just being yourself, number one. Don't let people disturb you by disturbing your thoughts and feelings and things. I have never taken music. I have never uh, had drum patterns. And nobody's taught me anything. I've always played my feeling and my soul. And uh, when someone try to tell me to try to do something, I tell them, you're talking to the wrong person. You know, I play from, I don't even read music. So um, I enjoy my life of music. I never expected a lot of this stuff to be happening. And it all come about, and uh, I'm happy with it. That's great. Joey B. Banks is with the Scholarship Fund. The goal is to get kids interested in music. How are things going so far? Talk about the evolution of that fund, if you can. Um, well, the, the uh, Class Doublefield Scholarship Fund is a fund that's going to send kids to music school. So uh, we're trying to f raise money um, through the Power to Give site um, for that scholarship fund, and we're about 40% to our goal right now. Um, so we could really use some support mm -hmm. from Madison and uh, uh, getting people to donate. Um, it's uh, the Coalition for the Recognition of Clyde Stubblefield that initiated this whole process in the scholarship fund. And uh, we have a site you can go to if you want to donate on the Arts Wisconsin and um, also DaneArtsPowerToGive.org. So we need donations. Yeah. And I love working with kids, and this is my first time. So it's going to be an honor because I, I know what to do with kids that wants to learn music. No problem at all. Do you feel that kids these days, they're, you know, they're, they're taught to follow instruction and do all that? Is it hard to kind of get a kid to just follow their gut and to play? Well, not really, but uh, kids today, they just don't stick to one instrument. They start out on something and then go from that. They probably wind up with three instruments in their life as they're going along, but uh, it's not easy sometimes because they tell you, I'm not interested in this, but I can get them interested in things, yeah. Marcus, when you hear kind of all the folks who talk about your uncle and how great your uncle was and now this push also to get your uncle in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, mm -hmm. what does this mean to you? What does this mean to your family? It means a lot, you know. I remember, um, I didn't realize how big he was until I got older. When I was young, you like, you know, I used to hear my grandmama, which is his sister, tell stories about him, but it never dawned on me who he really was. So I started hearing him in rap music, you know, and I'm hearing them, you know, I'm like, man, yo, this is my uncle, you know. And then I still want putting the two together and, re and realizing the magnitude that, you know, he, he played in hip hop, you know, which today, you know, he still gets very little credit, but, you know, a lot of the famous songs that's popping in hip hop today became famous because, you know, just a little small snippet of his music, you know. Argu arguably the most sampled drummer, right? The, in yes, music history? Absolutely. The most. Absolutely. And didn't get no money for it. <laughs> that could be the subject of a whole nother interview we got to do here. Um, the concert's tomorrow night. We thank you all for coming at 6 to 8 tomorrow night at the uh, at the Overture Center, correct? Overture Center for Mad City Sessions, and it okay. features the, the Big Payback um, and the Black Star Drumline. Uh, members of the JBs, Fred Wesley, Fred Thomas, uh, John, John Chavo, Jack. Starks, yeah. will be performing with the Big Payback. Um, uh, the second half of that performance, okay. and uh, Wally Ingram will be here. He's former Cheryl Crow drummer, All right. uh, and uh, it's going to be a great event. Proclamation um, for Clyde, naming it to Clyde Stubblefield Day, will happen as well with uh, the assistant mayor, Anna <coughs> Spragan, right. showing up to do that presentation. With Joey B. Banks, Marcus Carlisle, right. Clyde Stubblefield, thanks so much for being with us today. We appreciate it. We're going to be right back on News 3 this morning. Thank you.